morning, just gone quarter to ten, and here, right outside church in Tadworth, heading to a jumble sale, just parked down a place called the Avenue, and this jumble sale gets quite busy. Um, starts at 11 o'clock, so I have to get here right early. Also, it's been a little bit longer at this jumble sale and head to a charity shop because I'm not going to Yovo Arena because of all the trains, Southwest trains, they're um, mucked up because of the engineering work, especially at Wimbledon. It's a shame. I'm not getting um, buses, you know. So here it is. So it's just up here on the left. Feeding time. Chest tapes in it. Son of a Jedi. Oh, blimey. Do have a rampage. Crappy diner. Nah, crap. Absolute crap. <laughs> Jeez. Can, can I get up? That's, that's the thing. Oh, no, no, it's not. It's, it's... The first bag so far. I'm going to head to the car. I've no idea what time it is. Saw Tim, who goes to a lot of jumbles as well. I'll do a whole when I get back, but I want to get back in, have a look, see what's around, take my jacket off and that. So as I say, do a haul later and see if we get any more goodies in the jumble. Just gone quarter past 12, 
going to head to a charity shop, a children's trust. It's all right in there. Got some good bits. Went round again. Some hot shoes. A uh, lady, of course. And yeah, just got a bit of footage. Hopefully, the footage's okay. Head to the charity shop, film in there, and see what I can find. I did see some people from Children's Trust up at a jumble sale, but I thought they would keep the shop open, closing at 12 noon or Saturday, 17th February, nearest one, tight in the corner. Oh, I'm not going to go there anyway now, at home. So that the um, jumble sale, so I thought they'd keep the shop open. Went to a jumble sale yesterday, which was Saturday. It was in an affluent area. It was in the big hall and an adjoining room which had toys, games, shoes and baby stuff. I saw Tim there, nice to chat to Tim, who's another reseller. So what I'll do, I'll show you what the item is, what I paid and what it's worth. So there's a pound to get in as well, a cheeky pound. I got Crazy Bones bundle and a few Corinthian figures, so 11 Corinthian figures. So I paid £10 all in, so £5 each. So these go-go crazy bones, not the older type ones, but they're the um, new ones, I think. These bags for those, and, and these ones here. As you can see, different types of ones, usually got like faces on. Ones that I had um, didn't have faces on randomly, but this bundle, I should get around 45 pounds all in for this big bundle of go-go crazy bones got these corinthian figures so for example 2007 ones just pick out one um mascarano 2007 these little things so 11 of those for a fiver um i might bundle them up and 20 pounds something like that for these ones not really sought after to be honest these corinthian football figures next i got some harry potter books and she wanted £2.50 and I said to her, I've got £2 here, will you accept £2? Because the higher price at this particular place, which is very annoying, more than when I went back a couple of years ago. Um, and I paid £2 all in for 66p each for Harry Potter books. Nothing special there. Harry Potter and Prison of Azkaban, The Goblet of Fire, a bit of sun fading. And we've got Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets there. Nothing special, so I paid 66p each roughly, £2 all in for these. I got 19 Ladybird books, paid £2 Ladybird books, these type, as you can see there. Um, I've got the Ladybird sticker on the back and stuff, so I should get around £25 um, for 19 of these Ladybird books. Up, um, careers board game and bits for a pound. So the board game was there, it's, it smells a little bit, but is what it is. Um, and some bits and pieces for the careers board game for like bundles, etc. Here, careers board game, all different types of bits, as, as you can see. Um, like, for example, um. Oh here, trying to drop it, and a, just bits and pieces for, for the careers board game. Uh, bits and the board for the game, uh, paid a pound. Then, I've got a couple of finger boards, they're not tech deck ones, they're other ones, I say speed on there, and skate and stuff, they're just bog standard for finger boards, so happy with those, paid 20p for two, so I get them bundled up with other ones when I find them throughout the season. Um, then, in the next bag, I got some boots and stuff and shoes. I had to pay up a little bit for Primark, even though they're not a very good brand, I thought sod it, you know, might as well. Um, the long, actually no, the short boots, I paid, well, I paid five each, should get around 20 pounds for these, size eight, for those Primark boots, and they are Primark, I don't know if you'll be able to, to see, but it does say Primark in there. Very good, I ain't been worn a handful of times. I should get £20 all day long for my £5 spend on this particular boot. Then I've got the longer version, Primark, which again, the black bottoms not being worn much, like a few scuffs, etc. Primark, size 8. I should get around £20 for those. And then the nice little hotters, always try and pick up hotter shoes. 
because they do well. Um, I paid £2 for the hottest shoes because the Primarks were £5 each. It was weird, I paid £2 for hottest shoes but Primark five are each. So these I should get around £23, £24 hotters. They are size um, five and a half, I think. Yeah, size five and a half shoe sandals. Open toe sandals, women's ones, because uh, the summer's coming in. That's what I picked up at the jumble sale. Um, I spent £28.20, which, which includes my pound to get in. I should get roughly around £153. Got a minus fees, minus what I paid, etc. And all the eBay stuff. So let me know what you liked about this um, footage and video. Comments below, like, share, subscribe, push it out, take care.